Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. This is Mr. Abdul Ghaffar. In today's video lecture, we are going to analyze the Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. So, we will divide this whole book into the six major portions and we'll discuss them separately, one by one. In the very first portion, we will discuss about the life and work of the John Bunyan that when he was born, what is the age and his major contribution in the English literature and in the second portion we will discuss the summary of this very book we will cover the main events of this story we will summarize the main incident events and adventure of this very story and in the third portion we will discuss the critical angle of this very story and the actual context of the story that what is the purpose of the writer what is the moral of this story and in the fourth version we will summarize the themes that what kind of the themes and uh, the story reveals and the fifth portion we will sum we will discuss and we will analyze the major character of this very story and in the last portion in the sixth portion we will discuss the allegory the pilgrim's progress as an as an allegorical work these are the six main angles or the portion of this very book we will discuss them separately uh, when we look at the life and work of the john bunyan he was actually born in 17th century in the heart of the england which is called bedfordshire in uh, 1628 uh, in the initial age he was help his father in his uh, business uh, just they are sell something from village to village from city to city and uh, his uh, father was a tinker there in uh, tinker and he sell the different things uh, when we look at his uh, literary background that he is the famous writer of the puritan age his uh, name is counted in the famous writer of the prose and in the prose work we will find the two major works the one is the pilgrim's progress we are going to discuss in today's video lecture and second one the holy war these both book based on religious allegory so his uh, name is counted in the writer of the prose and uh, as a writer of the prose and he was a famous as a moralist of puritan time period uh, he is widely influenced by the Calvinism school of thought and he propagated this idea, this notion when he was a writer. Uh, now look at the spiritual concept which are related to spirituality and uh, you know that these Puritan people, they propagate, they promote this uh, religious ideology, they were pro-Christian and they see each and everything in the context, in the lens of the religious domains, in the religious doctrine. So when we discuss this uh, story, uh, before that we will look at the uh, spiritual concept which are related to spirituality in the Christian doctrine. The very first, uh, for most uh, doctrine which is related to Christianity is given by St. Augustine. Uh, St. Augustine's point of view is that actually man is a sinful creature. He inherited this ability from his ancestor, from Adam and Eve. They have committed mistake when they were in heaven. So actually man is a sinful creature. He inherited this quality from Adam and Eve. And the second notion is given by St. Paul. Said, Paul said that actually man is sinful creature, but he can get salvation through divine grace. If he find the divine grace, definitely he will get the salvation. So there is a chance, there is the hope, there is a clue for a human being to get salvation through divine grace. In the third one, this is very, this is very much important and this uh, school of thought and this ideology is reflected in this story that we are going to discuss. Uh, when said Calvin said that actually Man is a sinful creature, but God has sent some people in this, in this world 
दे आर एक्चुअली ब्रिज बिटवीन गॉड एंड ह्यूमन बींग इफ यू फॉलो द फुट स्टेप जेल डेलीजेंटली विथ द पाथ ऑफ द क्रिस्टनिटी विथ यू नो आइडियालॉजी ऑफ क्रिस्टनिटी वी विल गेट सालवेशन सो देयर इज़ द होप ऑफ द सालवेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द डिवाइन ग्रेस सो सीक द डिवाइन ग्रेस एट फाइन द डिवाइन ग्रेस वी हैव टू फॉलो द फुट स्टेप ऑफ द people they are chosen by god so these are actually people who tell us they give us the uh, appropriate path for salvation so we have to follow or oh, they may get the salvation so the third school of thought is very much uh, important and is uh, reflected in the uh, pilgrims progress so these are the concept and little bit introduction about the chan banyan